In this video, I'm going to show you how to 3D map using your drone. In this case, I'm going to use my Mavic. So how does a thing or an area be three-dimensionally reconstructed like what you see on a Google map? Basically, you take a whole bunch of pictures of an object from a different angle, and you send all these pictures into a software like Pix4D or Drone Deploy. And there are many software out there that does 3D re reconstruction. I will link in the description below. And after all these pictures get sent into this software, the software is going to chew all these pictures up and grind them down into millions of single pixel. And the computer algorithm is capable of using all these pixels and reconstruct them into a three-dimensional figure right in the horse's mouth. Remember I say take picture from multiple different angles of an object? And that's a very crucial point. And let me explain why. Let's take the cereal box as an example, as if I want to 3D reconstruct this thing. If I just take a picture from the top, right here, and fit it into the computer, the algorithm will only know how this side looks like, but it won't know what the, all the other side looks like. And the algorithm will only know as much information as I feed into it. So if you want to properly reconstruct this object or cereal box, you need to take a picture of on all sides so the algorithm will be able to construct a box. Same goes to 3D mapping. You want to first map out an area two-dimensionally or people call it ortho mosaic. Have the drone fly in a consistent pattern looking straight down using an app like Pix4D. Then orbit the building or houses or any structures around at about their roof level to capture the depth of the object. Now let's turn into the Pix4D software. If you're interested in learning how to use the software, I suggest you to go to the Pix4D. They have a YouTube channel where they post all the intuitive tutorials. Now let's get back into it. So I was out in my neighborhood taking some picture of this neighborhood. And as you can see, I first took some picture of the overhead view. Then I orbit around the entire swimming pool at a lower altitude. Then I went ahead and fly a little bit closer and orbit around the building and the chair and also the light pole to get more detailed shot. Quickly going through the setup, I'm going to first import the overhead shot. Basically just follow the step I'm going through, pause the video if it's going too fast. As you can see, the software is capable of aligning all the images on the map based on the coordinate of each image that was recorded. There are different outputs and resolutions options that you can choose from this process setting. In my case, I'm only selecting all the default settings for the sake of my computer processing speed. Of course, you can always increase the resolution if your computer is capable of processing that. Once everything is set, click on the start button on the bottom left corner to start the process. The entire process is going to take about approximately 15 minutes to an hour, depends on the setting and the computer speed. The process has now completed. Let's take a look. And this is what happened when I only import the aerial image looking straight down. You can see the fences are missing. The building looks like it's missing walls. Looks like the wall is melted. You can only see the shadow of the light pole, but the light pole is missing where it's supposed to be. So if I import the aerial image that captured the light pole from the side, then it will show up on this 3D map. I have now imported the light pole images in a separate project and the process is now completed. Oh, it looks like I got 3D reconstructed in there too. Anyway, uh, now I just have to merge this project with the previous one together. And now the light pole just magically appear. Oh yeah. Now here's a side by side comparison between the width and without adding the side image of the light pole. Just to show my point that you can't expect all the details like the light pole to show up by only having a top view shot of the area. You actually have to get into each single detail that you want to present and take some uh, image around it. Here's another example of a 3D model without the detailed side images of the building versus the 3D reconstruction with the side images. The difference is night and day. As you can see, there's much more details on the window and then the wall texture. It's just much better. 
That's all guys, make sure to thumbs up if you find my explanation helpful and click on the subscribe button for future video. Comment below if you have any questions.